Welcome to the Defect Shipyard Preview where I'm going to show you a couple of tips and tricks and basics of how to use the shipyard. Um, what you see here is the shipyard grid which is where we build all the ships and if we want to build something we're going to have to drop a core on it and the core are these pieces up the top here. Let's drop one on. You'll see that the grid has zoomed all the way out to show you the extents that we will be able to build the ship using this core. You'll see that the core is providing 1000 power at the moment, uh, which is not what it says up here. It says 700, that should say 800 when I update the stats. When the core isn't attached to any other piece of your ship, when it's clear of all other ship pieces, it will be providing 125% power which is uh, why currently it's telling you 1,000. Well, first thing that we'll need is some crew. And because this is going to be a very big ship, we'll choose a very big crew component, I think. That was symmetry dragging in two of them. I'm not sure we need two of them straight away. So we'll turn off symmetry and uh, drag that piece in again. You can scale the piece up, place it wherever you want. We'll cover up the core, make it the right size. It's going to be quite a big ship, so we'll uh, position it near the front of the, the grid. Next thing we'll need is some armor to protect this core. Uh, what we're using here though is a wing, but this is a wing that's got a lot of armor. So this will uh, add some agility to the ship, a small amount of agility, agility to the ship, but it will uh, also give us some protection from enemy fire. We can um, copy this piece with symmetry on and then we'll have two pieces that are uh, mirror images of each other which we can move around. We can rotate them, we can scale them up and they'll both do the same thing. Let's move them into position. And join them up. Then we'll use the layer buttons to move our crew component to the front. You can see the layer buttons over the left showing you what's above what, what's hidden behind things just in case you lose a piece. So we'll use the up and down buttons to move it to the top and then protect the core by moving it behind all our crew and armour pieces. Because this is a pretty heavy ship, I think we'll need a lot more armor than what we've currently got as well if we're sending it into the kind of fights that I think we'll send it into. So let's add some battleship armor. We've got two of these, which is possibly overkill. We'll be very heavy. This ship will be very slow, but it will keep us alive for a long time. scale it to the right size, make sure it's in the right place. And because we've slowed the ship down so much, we're definitely going to need some more wings if we want this thing to be able to turn at all. So let's try these ones. Uh, we'll rotate them the way that we want them to be. That's kind of backwards. I think I'll flip those around the other way. some very big engines to get this ship moving. Um, let's move way up the end and make some of the biggest ones that we can get. These should do the trick. We 
you'll notice that when we move the engines away from the wing so that they're not touching anything, the circle in the middle will turn red and they won't be attached to the ship anymore. You won't be able to launch the ship if you've got any detached pieces like that. So you have to make, ev make sure everything's connected to something. If you look down the bottom now, you'll see that we're getting a warning about crew. We don't have anywhere enough at the, at the moment because e these engines take up so much crew. So we're going to have to fix that situation and give ourselves a few more. So we'll make a copy of it and that gives us a whole lot more. But still only 16 and these pieces don't have much armour. So when they start to take fire, they will be destroyed very quickly. When they get destroyed, you'll lose a lot of control on your ship. And if you lose all your crew, you'll barely have any control at all. So let's choose a crew piece that's got a little bit of armor. So at least it'll survive a couple of seconds in combat. We'll drop that into place and shift it back a few levels, make it look good. That's not too bad, but we'll probably still need a lot more. What we definitely want though is a bit more maneuverability. I'm still worried that this ship is going to be very slow, so We'll try out one of the maneuver rockets on it. Maneuver rockets are like wings, but they take a lot more power and give you a lot more maneuverability. That looks pretty good. Kind of happy with that. So the next thing we really want is guns. It's not much of a ship in this game without guns. So let's go and grab one of the big turrets. We'll turn symmetry on. Drop these on the front of our ship. It doesn't really matter which way they're facing because these are 360 degree turrets. They'll shoot anything that uh, in any direction that gets within range. It's good to have them symmetrical though because when you take direct control you'll be in control of both of them at once which is very useful. You can see that it didn't leave us with very much crew although we do still have a lot of power left. We'll also need some protection against smaller uh, fighters and missiles. Those big guns are great against big ships, but terrible against, against fighters. So we'll use these flat guns, which, which track really quickly and can knock down any smaller ship. That's left us with not enough crew, but I think we've still got enough power left to do this, so we'll add a few more guns with symmetry turned on. We'll just do a copy, drag them into position, turn them sideways, just because it looks cool. You'll notice that when we drag the guns over that crew component, our number of crew will drop dramatically. And that's because you can't have too many things stacked on top of each other, otherwise their efficiency will drop. That's the efficiency number up in the on, in the green circle. Um, you'll see it's at thirty three percent with on this crew because there's so much stuff, too much stuff uh, attached to that crew. So, if we move the guns a little bit further away, that leaves the crew free, and we've got plenty of uh, plenty of efficiency on all those pieces. But we do definitely still need more crew. We'll, it's usually one power equals one crew, so we might need to lose some power here, so I'll get rid of the maneuver jets, which gets us to a much more even number. We only need 64 more crew, and we've got 66 power to do it in, so let's go find a, a crew component that's about the right size. This one looks pretty good. It's not really in the visual style that I want for this ship. Oop, and we don't want two of them, so let's just drag in one. Because I don't really like the style of this one, we can drop it just underneath the hull, hide it inside the ship, and everything will look good again.
and we've got one power and one crew left. There's not much we can do with that, so I'd say this ship is pretty close to complete, except it needs a new name. So we can click on our random name generator up the top here and definitely find something better, I think. Not bad, not bad. Ah, that's the one. Save the ship, and then we're ready to launch. So, thanks for looking at our tutorial shipyard video, and we'll hope you'll come back and see more of our other tutorials.